Web3 developers need to know the difference between Ethers.js versions 5 and 6. Code written in 5 is almost guaranteed to break if you're using version 6, and vice versa. This quick tutorial explains the changes to the provider class when upgrading from versions 5 to 6, or following a tutorial written in 6 but using an earlier version of Ethers. I have two windows open here, and I'm going to show you how to accomplish the same thing with a provider in versions 5 versus version 6. Initializing a provider in version 5 might look like this. Note the provider's namespace. While in version 6, doing the same thing is going to throw an error, you would need to do this. Notice how JSON RPC provider is no longer nested inside a provider's namespace. Otherwise, the name of the class JSON RPC provider is still the same if you're creating a connection from a URL, like the local URL I have above, or an infer a URL. But creating a connection from a Web3 application has changed. In version 5, you'd prompt connecting to MetaMask to create a connection like this. But in version 6, the name of the method has changed. You would do something like this. So instead of Web3 provider, we're now using browser provider, in addition to no longer using the provider's namespace. Lastly, sending a transaction to the blockchain from a provider instance has also changed. In version 5, it was done like this, with send transaction and passing in your transaction arguments. But in version 6, the name of the method has changed to broadcast transaction. Give this video a like and subscribe if you found it helpful, and I'll see you next time.